Yeah, I think this was extra special being a debut for myself and Mina, and we know that this is like an expansion um, team battle, so I think it was great for us to get the win here today, um, especially after the little break that we've had and a lot of new faces on this team, myself included. So it was fantastic to get the win. Never complain a debut with a win. <laughs> and then um, your decision to, to come to NWSL, to come to Utah in general, could you kind of tell us a little bit about that process and, and what made you want to come here? Yeah, I think my agent and I had a conversation and uh, Utah made an excellent proposal and they really sold the project for me. Um, it's a very exciting young team. And of course, I, I like to believe that I bring a lot of experience um, where I've played in the past with the national team club level. So I think I can bring a lot to this team as well. So I'm really hoping that we grow together. Awesome. Welcome. Thank you. So you just mentioned that you've played with the national team. I think for our fans, it would also be really fun to kind of take a step back and maybe you can walk us through some of it. But you've played at some, <laughs> you've played at some very interesting clubs. Mm -hmm. um, you played on an archipelago in uh, in Iceland. I, here, I'm going to try and say the <laughs> name. So it's the Vestman Aya. Yeah, it's easier to say IBV or EBV off. Yeah. Um, Westman Islands, if we're speaking Westman English, <laughs> an Icelandic Vestmanaya. And then the most, one of the most iconic looking stadiums I've ever seen with, mm -hmm. I'm going to try this, that, the Hausteins Svitzler. Not bad, we're getting better. Um, yeah. Hausteins Vettler. But talk a little bit for the fans about your journey and how, as you just mentioned to Caleb, you, you've kind of woven yeah. your way around the world and ended up in Utah. Yeah, I think for me, um, I always kind of describe my career as a climb. Uh, nothing was really given to me. I had to work very, very hard for where I am today. Um, I, pr I started my professional career in Iceland because it was the best oppor opportunity for myself. Um, then it started to grow. I went to Benfica afterwards and then Arsenal now here. So for myself, um, this has been a climb and I'm not done trying to get to that top of the mountain. So I think this is another exciting step for myself. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the growth that I'm going to have here as well. You're being modest. <laughs> you're saying climb to the top. You're almost at that yeah. pinnacle because <laughs> you're a prolific goal scorer. For the fans who don't know, you carry coming into the NWSL a 0.68 mm -hmm. on your, your goal ratio. Can you slow down the game for us and just tell us how it is that you're such a prolific attacker striker? Yeah, I think for me, it's about it's not only about scoring, but it's about creating opportunities for my teammates as well. And I think when you have that type of mindset and that type of mentality, goals just end up coming, right? Um, attackers like to share the wealth. If someone's giving you the ball, you also want to give it to them. So I think it's about finding that balance and, yeah, finding good ways to play off one another and seeing what works best up top. Um, and I think the chemistry here will just start to blossom. And just one more kind of fan-sided question. Can you tell us what your personality is like in the locker room on the pitch? What do you bring <laughs> into the squad as far as personality goes? I'm definitely a little bit of a relaxed person. Um, not chaotic at all. So yeah, just a relaxing um, vibe. Some leadership as well. Can be vocal when it's necessary, of course. But yeah, I think just bringing the calm to a locker room when it's needed. And then I'll, uh, maybe one more then. Um, <laughs> And how did it feel to play in front of, I haven't heard a count, but 14,000 14, plus new fans of yours. How did it feel to play? Yeah, there? I think it was great. I mean, coming onto the pitch, um, everybody was so loud. They were loud throughout the full 90. Um, I think once the goals start to come as well, it just got noisier and noisier. So I was happy to be a part of that. And I think the fans here were fantastic. And I think they're just going to continue to support us. Now that we got these three points here today, they just want to continue to see us succeed, right? Una pregunta, nada más curiosidad. Um, me traduce si puede. En el, ah, vale, vale. <laughs> en el último minuto podías haber metido un gol, debutando con un gol. ¿Qué pensaste en esa última jugada del, del partido? So that last second of the game, the goalkeeper was out, you could have scored. What did you think about that play? And how yeah, that I mean, if I'm being honest, I'm a little bit upset with the ref there because I think she should have, she gave them 10 minutes to give a go, give a, get a goal. She could have given us 10 seconds. But hey, we'll get it next time. It's fine. I won't forget. ¿Estás la altura de para jugar hoy en este partido, la altura de aquí de Utah, de Salt Lake City? Did you notice the altitude when you were playing? I think yesterday. So yesterday was my first training session. I definitely noticed the altitude. Um, to be honest, it felt better today than I anticipated it to feel. So I was happy about that. We'll see if you ask me tomorrow if I'll have the same answer, but. For now, it's okay, actually. <laughs> well, I just want to ask you about that. Well, you, you answered on, on the last question. Uh, you just trained once with the team. How do you feel like you just have one session and the next day you have a, your first match with the Utah Royals? 
I think that's kind of one of the benefits of having a senior player with a lot of experience, right? You know what it's like to come into a new environment. You know what it's like, for example, with the national team, we were playing up in Mexico, right? High altitude. Um, we're used to playing in different environments and with quick turnarounds. So I think that was very beneficial here today. <laughs> and what would you like to teach to the young, young players? Because this team, at least the last 15 games, were a really young team. Now we have more uh, players with experience, but what, you, what would you like to teach to them mm -hmm. in yeah. being professional? I think for me it's important that every player that steps out on the field has confidence. They know why they're on the pitch. They believe in themselves, and they know that they can contribute for the Utah Royals. Um, every, every individual on this roster was selected for a reason, so it's important that young players have that confidence to step out on the pitch and do what they're here to do. <laughs>